There's been a lot of talk lately about the recent announcement that the DCEU Batgirl movie has been cancelled. Despite the movie having a stellar cast comprised of J.K. Simmons, Michael Keaton and Brendan Fraser, despite the movie being 90% completed, it was ultimately cancelled and shelved. However, this isn't the first time that a movie focused on Batgirl has been cancelled. <laughs> Since years ago, back in 2008, Warner Brothers Animation were pitched an animated movie based on the story Batgirl Year One. There isn't that many details that we know about the movie other than this concept art, but it's safe to assume that it would have been similar to the comic book that details her origin and has Batgirl facing up against Killer Moth and Firefly. The proposed movie was pitched by Bruce Timm and animation director Lauren Montgomery, who years later said that Warner Brothers didn't feel confident Green lighting a movie that wasn't led by Batman or Superman. Shortly after, Lauren Montgomery ended up directing the 2009 Wonder Woman animated movie, which was a great movie in my opinion. This is only one of many cancelled DC animated movies. There's been a whole bunch over the years that very few people know about. So in this video, I'm gonna try to list every single DC animated movie that was announced or revealed at some point and was ultimately cancelled. And I'm not gonna limit myself to only listing the direct-to-video DC animated movies. I'm gonna cover everything, from theatrical releases to direct-to-video and everything in between. Like, for example, our second movie, Lego Batman 2. Yes, Lego Batman was meant to have a sequel, and it had a really promising premise from what we know. The first movie's director, Chris McKay, had an interview with Collider in which he revealed that he wrote a script with Dan Harmon, the co creator of Rick and Morty, and Michael Waldron, who wrote for Loki and he said that the movie would have focused on the Lego Super Friends and Superman and Batman's relationship in particular. He compared the proposed sequel to Boogie Nights of all things and he said that the structure of the story would have been similar to The Godfather 2 with a thematic focus on handling change and building friendships. Quite honestly, all of that sounds really promising and I personally think that sequel idea could have been great. I love the Lego Batman movie, and I'm willing to bet a sequel to it by the same director would have been a hit. Ultimately though, Chris McKay said that the movie was cancelled because Universal Pictures acquired the film rights to the Lego franchise back in 2020, meaning that Warner Brothers could no longer make any movies for the Lego brand. Next we have Justice League Worlds Collide which was actually meant to be a movie set in the DCAU and would have taken place in between Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. It was meant to be a bridge that explained the change in status quo and transition between the two series, and the story would have loosely adapted Grant Morrison's JLA Earth 3 comic, which had the Justice League battle against the crime syndicate an alternate version of the Justice League from an Earth where they're evil and rule with an iron fist. This movie is actually an example of a concept that was originally passed on for whatever reason, but was later revived and transformed into a different project, and in this case, Worlds Collide was transformed into the 2011 movie Justice League Crisis on Two Earths that also was based on the Earth 3 comic and had the crime syndicate as villains. This is supported by the fact that the watchtower in that movie is actually shown to be undergoing some revisions and seems to be getting expanded. This is because the watchtower in Justice League Unlimited was much larger than how it was in the original 2002 series. So even though the Crisis on Two Earths isn't set in the DCAU, it's still really cool to know that its story came from the original Justice League cartoon. At number 4 we got Aquaman, who back in 2009 had a script for an animated movie written by Adam Green, but the film was ultimately rejected. Despite that, Aquaman ended up being the focus of a future DC animated movie. 
Justice League Throne of Atlantis, which isn't really very good in my opinion, and wastes the great source material of the original story from the comics. It would be awesome if DC were to reconsider giving Aquaman a solo animated movie, especially considering that his live action movie literally made over a billion dollars. Years after the animated movie was rejected, Adam Green posted online that Warner Brothers requested him to try to have less underwater scenes because animating underwater action scenes was more expensive and time consuming. So they wanted to have less scenes with water in an Aquaman movie? Uh, he also said that the movie wasn't picked up in large part and due to the disappointing sales of the 2009 Wonder Woman movie and also Green Lantern First Flight, which while they were great movies, unfortunately they weren't so successful sales wise when they originally came out. Both Green Lantern First Flight and Wonder Woman reportedly had been considered to have sequels but as mentioned before, the poor sales of both films unfortunately cancelled those sequels. Eventually though, we got Wonder Woman Bloodlines and two other Green Lantern movies, so it's not all bad. Another female DC character who almost got her own animated movie was Catwoman, and it was meant to serve as a tie-in for the 2004 Catwoman movie starring Halle Berry. The script for the movie was being worked on by Boyd Kirkland, an animation director with a lot of previous experience in DC animated projects, being one of the main creative forces behind the classic Batman the Animated Series. In an interview he gave years after the fact, he said that Warner Brothers asked him to use the same Catwoman character that was created for Halle Berry. Since in case you don't remember, she was a brand new character made for the movie, she wasn't Selina Kyle and he said that his script would have delved deeper into the Egyptian mythology present in the movie. So who knows, maybe Boyd Kirkland was able to make that version of Catwoman actually interesting. The animated movie was cancelled of course due to the 2004 movie being an absolute dumpster fire and eventually DC and Warner made Catwoman Hunted years after. Do you remember the Batman cartoon from the mid 2000s? I always really liked it and I really loved its direct to video movie Batman vs Dracula and I would highly recommend anyone who hasn't seen it to check it out because it was really well received. So much so in fact that DC considered making another movie for the Batman cartoon and it would have featured Hush as the main villain. Unfortunately, we don't have that much information regarding the project, we only got this concept art and know that it would have loosely adapted the comic book storyline, and it's a shame that they never approved the movie's production, especially since Hush never even ended up appearing on an episode of the cartoon. Eventually though, as most of you know, DC ended up adapting Batman Hush into an animated film back in 2019, but it would still be awesome if they could make a new animated movie set within the world of the 2004 Batman cartoon. I mean, they did it for Batman the Animated Series and also The Brave and the Bold, so I think it will be really well received if they revive the Batman for an animated movie. Back in 2017, DC released Teen Titans The Judas Contract. But reportedly, they considered making the movie all the way back during the mid 2000s when they were just starting to make DC original animated movies. But they ended up passing on it at the time since they weren't confident enough that a movie that didn't star Batman or Superman could be successful. Speaking of the Teen Titans, I couldn't find a concrete source for this one, but according to TV Tropes, James Tucker, a producer with years of work in DC animation, said that the end of the movie was going to set up a third Teen Titans movie with Blackfire as the main villain. Also from the TV Tropes article, it mentioned that James Tucker also revealed that they considered making a Death of the Family Batman movie which was going to be set up in Batman vs Robin, but they decided not to follow through with that project. After the release of Batman Sub-Zero, Warner planned on making another direct-to-video movie set in the animated series world which was called Batman Arkham. 
and it would have been about a massive breakout happening in Arkham Asylum where all of Batman's most dangerous villains escaped from the facility and are causing chaos in Gotham. Boyd Kirkland was going to write and direct the movie and multiple concept arts were made by artist Stephen E. Gordon. Multiple villains would have appeared in the film and the entire cast of the animated series would have returned for the movie. Also, Bruce Wayne was going to have a new love interest in the movie, played by voice actress Angie Harmon, though we don't know the name of the character. Ultimately though, the movie wasn't made because they picked up Batman Beyond Return of the Joker instead, which ended up being a great movie. Back in 2017, the news website Comic Book Resources reported that an animated movie based on the classic Watchmen graphic novel was being developed by Warner Brothers Animation. Around that time, there was a survey done by Warner Brothers A-List Community Program, which is a subscription program that frequently surveys their subscribers to give their opinions on upcoming or recently released movies and TV shows. That survey revealed that there was a Watchmen animated movie in the works and it was described in the survey as being a faithful adaptation of the Watchmen graphic novel executed in an animation style that mirrors the source material. Unfortunately, there has been no further news on this project ever since that survey was made, so it's safe to assume that the movie has either been cancelled or paused indefinitely, which is a shame because I think that a Watchmen animated movie is a fantastic idea and DC should definitely try to make it. We did get an HBO series which was great and there was also a motion comic released during 2009, but an animated movie would still be amazing to see. In 2016, Newsarama revealed some concept arts made by Mike Mignola for an animated movie starring the New Gods, which would have been called Fourth World much like the original series by Jack Kirby. He made various concept arts showing Orion, Mr. Miracle, Darkseid, Granny Goodness and her Fatal Furies, Parademons, and the Happy People of Apocalypse. God, I love that. No plot details have been released about this cancelled project, but if we go by these concepts, it's safe to assume that part of the movie would have been set in the past and another part in present day, given that Mignola drew young versions of Mr. Miracle and Darkseid. Now I gotta be honest, I think this is a cancelled project that I most would have loved to see get made, and honestly I hope that they still make this one, because it sounds like a fantastic idea. But hey, at least Mike Mignola drew and wrote a New Gods comic series back in the mid 80s, so, at least there's that. Back in 2018, it was reported that a Plastic Man animated movie was being worked on with a script being written by Kevin Smith, and later this year in 2022, on an episode of Kevin Smith's podcast, Fat Man on Batman, Smith revealed that the project was going to have the Big Bang Theory's Sheldon Cooper Jim Parsons as the voice of Plastic Man in the proposed film. But sadly, the movie was shelved by Warner Brothers for undisclosed reasons. I find this one to be a shame because Plastic Man is a character practically tailor-made for animation. He's a stretchy guy that can turn into any form that he wants. Possibilities for animating him are basically endless and whenever he appears in cartoons like The Brave and the Bold, it's always a treat to see him. So yeah, besides having a cancelled animated show, he also had a cancelled animated movie, and that's a shame. And finally, we end this list with another report from TV Tropes that I couldn't verify, but according to them, James Tucker has said that the 2017 movie Batman vs. Two-Face, which is set within the world of the 60s Batman TV show, was originally going to end with Harley Quinn breaking the Joker out of prison, setting up for a potential sequel, but they had to change this ending because Adam West sadly passed away while the movie was still in production, so they had to change their plans with the movie and finished it in honor of the great Adam West.
So there you go, those were a lot, a lot of DC cancelled animated movies, 16 to be exact, and those were only ones that we have concrete sources on the internet to verify their existence. So who knows all of the cancelled projects that DC has done in the past that we still don't know about yet because they simply haven't been announced or reported on. So yeah, I wanna know, which one of all of these DC animated movies was the most promising to you and the one that you wanted to see the most? Me personally, as I said before, I think that the Mike Mignola New Gods movie would have been a fantastic idea and I really would have loved to see that one come to fruition. Besides that, I think that a Watchmen animated movie has a lot of potential and I'm also saddened by the fact that we'll never get to see Lego Batman 2. But yeah, let me know in the comments which of these cancelled projects interested you the most. And as always, thank you so so much for watching.